He realizes it's his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Here's second and seven now from the 28. It's Eckler again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to bring up second down. The Chargers at 8-4 now in the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. But <laughs> back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get into him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a throw here, hauled in. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We're always talking about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On fourth down, Herbert. Is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chargers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Hopkins with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21.
They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now a play fake. Lance. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught at the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder if maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, go. maybe a movement, maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Who knows what it could be? He could have a few tells out there that they're keying in on and allowing defenses to get to the football a little bit faster. People steal signals. Maybe sometimes they can figure out what the quarterback's doing just by his movements. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff Ready, causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another Ready? defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. The first carry for the North Texas man is Jeff Wilson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here. some hot water now after that sack 
It's second and 21. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Turn there, 17 yards, and it'll be Dolphin football. Here we go. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more. Reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. to get going. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. A play fake and now Herbert to throw. Uncorks one for Davis. And he's got it inside the 10. A big play there for LA. 71 yards. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. Yeah, she brought the ain't no way somebody 